today we're talking about intimacy. (laughs) (laughs) Your sexual health um, is a really vital part of your health. I think even when we see our patients for hormone replacement therapy, that's like one of the questions they're asking. Mm -hmm. How's your libido? Yeah, Mm -hmm. do you have the desire? Can you guys explain a little bit at like points in your life where you feel like you kind of protected that part of yourself or didn't allow that part of yourself? I think for sure having kids, Mm -hmm. nothing kills your libido more. (laughs) Researching birth control and realize like, oh my gosh, like it depletes my B complex because I guess in order to um, absorb the birth control, your liver requires B complex, vitamin C, zinc, magnesium to even like absorb it. So then Mm -hmm. I'm realizing like, oh my gosh, like I'm doing this to my body willingly. And so it's kind of like I've been in this situation where I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to have a baby, but I don't <laughs> like feeling this way. So it's just kind of like it affected me in a sense of like, I'm not, I don't feel attracted. I think a lot of people don't realize how it affects the mental aspect oh, of you. Sure. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. your hormones are being messed with, and so that it just affects a lot. But like, you've kept intimacy alive in your relationship after being together for a long time. I think for a long time, I was just unhappy with my situation. Wasn't a great communicator. I would just withhold and like, I just got to keep doing more and more while I was building this intense resentment for my spouse. And I didn't even know it was very subconscious. It was like, I was waiting for him to make me happy.